police say there's no evidence of foul play, though. So what evidence would there be if there was a crime committed? And how can both be true? An Amber Alert, yet no evidence that something bad happened to her. Well, the evidence that something bad happened to her does exist. First of all, she's not there anymore. She has disappeared. So that's evidence when a child completely goes away. Secondarily, and I think super important, is the fact that that home was deemed unfit for her brothers and that those three children have been removed from that home. And I think this is what's going to crack the case. I truly believe that there will be charges at some point from the DCS, which is the Child Protection Services in Tennessee. And once that happens, I think it will happen against Candace and or Don. I think this case is really going to take a quick trajectory and people will start talking. But is it fair to blame them without the evidence? We don't know everything. I mean, social media has gone bonkers on this couple and their parenting. Uh, they have said they didn't have anything to do with it. The police haven't named them a person of interest. They passed a polygraph. I mean, is it too soon to jump to that conclusion without the evidence? We're not saying that they should be convicted of a crime or even charged of a crime yet. What we're saying is, or what I'm saying is, they're not being truthful. They are not coming forthright with information. I very staunchly believe that. And I also staunchly believe that the conditions they kept their children in were neglectful and possibly will prove to show child endangerment charges against those parents in the future. How can